हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू दिस वीडियो आई एम अमित रहेजा वर्किंग एज असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन ए आई एस एस एम एस आई वाई टी कॉलेज पुणे टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट काइनामेटिक्स ऑफ अ पार्टिकल कंटेंट्स ऑफ दिस वीडियो आर काइनामेटिक्स ऑफ लीनियर मोशन इट्स इक्वेशन ऑफ मोशन फॉर कॉन्स्टेंट एक्सेलरेशन बिफोर बिफोर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द इक्वेशन ऑफ मोशन वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट डिस्टेंस एंड डिसप्लेसमेंट स्पीड एंड वेलासिटी एंड finally equation of motion so let us start so kinematics of linear motion now kinematics is basically the study of motion without reference to the cause of motion cause of motion is force so when once we do not consider the force which is causing the motion such a type of study is called as kinematics and this area is uh, coming under the dynamics of particle so kinematics is the area of mechanics concerned with the study of motion of particles as as well as rigid bodies without considering the cause of motion and in this we analyze the motion of the particle and we are more likely and interested in finding out the position displacement velocity acceleration and the time of motion in this the study is basically related to the rectilinear and the curvilinear motion of a particle now a particle has no size but has mass so this is completely hypothetical concept however many a times object can be approximated as a particle for example a car is moving so compared to the distance it travels the size is very small so it is treated as a particle and moreover a rigid body is a combination of small particles so the concepts of a particle are more helpful in understanding the kinematics of the rigid body and in this unit we will carry out the motion analysis of moving particles without taking into account the force that is responsible for the motion <clears throat> so there are two types of motion rectilinear motion and curvilinear motion rectilinear motion basically uh, is the motion of a particle along a straight line and the common examples of uh, rectilinear motion are a car moving on a straight highway a lift traveling in the vertical well a stone falling from the top of a building also you can observe the animation in the right in which the object is moving along a straight line so such a type of motion is rectilinear motion now how are scalars different than vectors scalars and vectors both are physical quantity whereas a uh, scalar only has magnitude in the image given to the right you can observe a person is holding a 5 meter card so he has traveled 5 meter but we don't know in which direction he has traveled now observe the second image which is a vector in which the person he is showing the direction in which he is traveling that is 5 meters in the east direction so vector quantity is basically uh, having magnitude and direction how is distance different than displacement distance is basically a scalar quantity and distance is calculated from the start point to the end point okay so it has no direction so in the animation given below you can observe he starting from 0 meters moving till 6 meters and coming back to 2 meters so the total distance traveled is coming out to be 10 meters that is 6 plus in the left hand direction uh, 4 meters so total 6 plus 4 10 meters compared to this displacement is calculated uh, from by uh, is calculated by subtracting the final position minus the initial position so finally Uh, the particle reaches to two meters. That is going from zero meters to six meters in the right, then coming back four meters in the left. So final displacement comes out to be six minus four. 
in the right hand direction so next is calculating speed and velocity speed is calculated by taking the ratio of distance divided by time whereas velocity is calculated by finding out displacement to time let us observe the equation of the motion of a particle now yes the equation of motion of a particle is found out with respect to some axis over here in the image given below you can observe we have represented the motion of the particle in the x y and z direction so uh, initially the particle was at point p and finally he reaches to point p dash the position of this particle is calculated or found out with respect to the origin and which is given by position vector r bar and r is expressed in terms of time t as the particle is moving it will attain some velocity and it will require some time to reach the second uh, position that is p dash so position vector is expressed in terms of time t let us uh, see that the position vector at the initial position is r r in terms of time t whereas when it reaches point p dash its position is expressed in t plus delta t where delta t is the time taken by the particle to reach the final position that is p dash now if i want to find out velocity which is the rate of change of position of the particle and in the xyz reference system we can observe uh, we can find out the velocity by taking the limit that is delta t tending to zero position vector t plus delta t that is uh, position at p dash minus r into t that is posi initial position divided by delta t we are taking limit by delta t tending to zero as we are interested in finding out the instantaneous velocity whereas if we directly find out the average velocity which is given by delta uh, r upon delta t will give us the average velocity by applying the limits we get the instantaneous velocity so velocity is a vector quantity and in rectilinear motion it is uh, represented by a scalar uh, with positive or negative sign indicating its direction so the magnitude of velocity is known as speed next acceleration if the velocity of the particle changes by delta v in the time interval delta t then the average acceleration is given by delta v by delta t but if i want to find out the instantaneous velocity that is uh, acceleration of the uh, particle at that instant then we apply limit delta t tending to zero for the ratio delta t by delta sorry delta v by delta t uh, by that we get acceleration is dv by dt or we also can express it in terms of the position vector that is d2r by dt square next types of rectilinear motion so rectilinear motion is uh, classified as motion with uniform velocity motion with uniform acceleration and motion with variable acceleration today we will observe the equation of motion for uniform acceleration now when one see uh, when once we say uniformly accelerated motion the particle is moving with a constant acceleration but its velocity is changing uniformly that means at uh, uh, one second its velocity was 0.5 uh, meter per second then at uh, second time that is uh, after two seconds its velocity increases by 0.5 then for the third second again for 0.5 then for the fourth second again for 0.5 so 
the acceleration is constant whereas the velocity it is changing uniformly so for such a case a particle when we say it is performing uniformly accelerated motion its velocity changes at uniform rate the equation for uniformly accelerated motion is are the three kinematical equations that we have learned in our uh, previous grades uh, let us say if u is the initial velocity of the particle v is the final velocity and time t is the time interval between the initial and the final uh, positions so the acceleration of the particle is given by v minus u upon t or if you rearrange this equation we get v is equal to u plus at which is our first equation of uniformly accelerated motion if i want to find out what is the displacement or the distance traveled uh, during this time interval then s that is the distance is given by average velocity into time t which is u plus v divided by 2 into time t and by rearranging the equation we get s is equal to ut plus half at square which is our second equation of uniformly accelerated motion we can also rearrange the equation and say that uh, t is equal to v minus u upon a from equation number one and by substituting this value in the distance traveled equation we get v square is equal to u square plus 2as which is the uh, third equation of uniformly accelerated motion. Thank you.